Hey circuit students, let's start with introducing the ideas of current, voltage, and resistance. So this is introduction to electric circuits. And firstly, let's talk about current. So current is defined as moving electrons. And the symbol that we're going to use for our calculations is this lowercase cursive i. Um, and you might also see an uppercase i. So when we're doing calculations with AC, so this is alternating current, Um, they usually use this lowercase cursive i, but if we're doing calculations in DC, this is direct current. Direct current is constant in time, then you usually see this uppercase i. But the lowercase i is the more generic term, so this is one we'll use more often. The units of current um, are the amps. And that's short for amperes. And the mathematical definition of current, um, current is defined as dq dt. Q, I'll say where Q is charge in coulombs. Okay, so if we have Q on top, this means that we have um, a change in charge per unit time. And so it's basically like, um, is describing this movement, right? And so we have to have moving charges in order to have a current. Now, um, in addition to current, um, a big concept that we need to understand at first is voltage. Now, voltage, the symbol, is, you'll see um, a lowercase v like this, or an uppercase v, and same thing, this is usually used for direct current calculations, and this one is used for AC, but this is a more generic variable, so that's one we'll probably use. The units of voltage are just the volt, oops, and uh, the definition, the mathematical definition, um, voltage is defined as dw dq. Okay, so this is um, a change in energy per unit charge. Um, so we know that positive and negative charges attract. The energy that's required to pull those charges apart, right, to separate those voltage, those um, charges, that is the voltage. So the energy per unit charge created by that separation, that is the definition of voltage. Now, um, I, I have a visualization when I'm thinking about current and voltage, and that is, um, if you imagine a hose, the water that's flowing through the hose is like the current. Now the water pressure that is um, pushing the water through the hose, you can think of that as the voltage. Now the, the next concept that is fundamental to studying circuits is that of resistance. So the first few um, calculations we're going to be doing are going to involve um, current and voltage and resistance. Now the definition of resistance is it's a basic circuit element that just resists the flow of current in a circuit. The symbol we're going to use is R and um, in a schematic a resistor is going to look like kind of this little squiggly line. Okay so when we put this into a circuit um, we're going to use this particular symbol when we're doing our calculations. We're just going to use R for resistance. 
The units of resistance uh, are the ohm, and the symbol is a capital omega, like this. And like I said, the definition of resistance is, um, for us we'll just say it's a basic circuit element that resists the flow of current in a circuit. All right, that is current voltage and resistance.